this short video, I'm going to show you how you can export an image sequence from Adobe After Effects. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm inside Adobe After Effects. And as you can see here in my project, I have this simple logo transition animation here. And I wanna export this animation out as individual images. So each frame will be exported as its own file. And to do that, what you can do is go up to composition, add to render queue. And then next to output module, just click on this link. And then from the format dropdown options, you can choose PNG sequence. Now you can also do JPEG sequence, but in this case, I wanna hold on to the transparency or the information that includes the transparency. So I'm gonna choose PNG sequence. And then next to channels, I'm gonna click on the dropdown and change it to RGB plus alpha. The alpha channel holds transparency information. That way I can use this graphic in the photos over other pieces of media. For example, let's say if I wanted to transition from my on-screen camera to this, this file format will allow me to do that. So next click OK, and then next to output two, just click on this link and then choose where you'd like to save your file. Now there's a few more options that you can choose. At the bottom of this window, you can choose to save it in a subfolder. You don't have to, you can uncheck this and it will just save directly into this folder here, or you can click on save in subfolder and then name your subfolder and it will save all these images into that subfolder. Keep in mind, depending on how long your animation is or your composition, it'll create a photo for each frame. So you may have hundreds or even thousands of images depending how long your composition is. Lastly, at the top, you'll notice that you have this underscore and then the pound symbols. If you wanna rename your file, don't touch this part of the file, but you can change anything before this. So if you wanted to rename the name of each image, you can type in your custom name here. But once you have those options selected and changed, you can click save and then click render. This will render out each image one at a time from Adobe After Effects. I did wanna mention also while we wait for this to render out, if you wanted access to this template, it is available on my Patreon page. Feel free to go grab that. If you're not a Patreon member yet, feel free to subscribe and support the channel. You can gain access to a bunch of different assets I use on a daily basis as a video editor. So feel free to go grab that. Now let's take a look at the export folder here. So if we go into our finder window, you can see that we have our subfolder and we have all of our images. So one by one, here if we preview them you can see that we have our animation saved as individual png files and it retains transparency so now you can use all these images in other projects for different reasons you can use these together in an image sequence for example if you wanted to re-import these images inside adobe after effects to use it as a video you can do that so let's say if i wanted to import those images go up to file import file, then navigate to your subfolder and click on the first image here. Then under these options settings, if you don't see this, you can always click on show options. You should see a PNG sequence option. Make sure that's on. If it's off, it's going to import all of these separately. But if it's selected on, it'll import all these images as an image sequence, or essentially it will create a video out of them. So if we click open, you can see that we have this file here. So if we double click on it and open it up in the source panel. If we click play, you can see that it imported all these images as an image sequence. You can easily just click and drag this to the new composition button to make a new composition based on those photos. So that's how you can export an image sequence out of Adobe After Effects and how to re-import the images as a video inside After Effects. If you wanna learn more about Adobe After Effects, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one video that you might like right up there. Feel free to go check that out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.